to make an RNG game on Roblox, what you're going to do is go ahead and download Roblox Studio if you don't already have it, and then boot up the base plate, or really any template is fine, but I would recommend booting up the base plate. Open this up, and now what you're going to type in is RNG Game Kit. Right here, you're going to go ahead and drag this into your workplace. If you go ahead and click on this little arrow with all the hierarchy of what's in this, so Server Scripts Service, you're going to go ahead and drag this down into Server Script Service, and then click Control U to ungroup it. Go ahead and do this for every other one inside of the RNG game kit. All right, now that everything's in place, you should see these different things popping up. Now, the next thing you guys want to do is make sure you're on the home page, click on game settings, click save to Roblox, type in RNG game. Now, we're not done yet. There's some settings that we need to configure, and I'm going to be showing you how to add your own custom auras and everything like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and click save. You can customize this however you want. Roblox Studio may close out for a second your project and then reopen it. All right, we're back in here. Now, we're going to click game settings, and then go down to security, allow HTTPS requests, and you can allow both of these. I usually allow both of them, but I think you only have to enable studio access to API services. This way it can save data inside of your game, such as your leaderboard and everything like that. Click save. Boom. So now we should be good to go. This should be the basic of it, but we are going to want to add more auras and more stuff like that. So if I click roll, here we go. It comes up with the different list of them. I can go ahead and equip it one and four. Now we can also go ahead and fix this little animation glitch where we're not moving really. There's auto roll once you get hundred and then you can go ahead and check out your inventory. But now we need to go ahead and add more. So to add more, you're going to go to server storage, go under rarities, and then go ahead and copy one of them and paste it. If it pastes in the workspace, make sure to drag it back down into the rarities folder. Now you're going to want to rename it. I'm going to rename this one unheard of. Then go ahead, go into the hierarchy. You can change the color of this. I'm going to want this to be like purple when you get it. And this would be, so value right here, this is a one in two chance. So I'm going to actually go ahead and leave it at one in two, but if you want to make it like one in a million or something, you can go and type that in. So value, if I put 90, it would be a one in 90 chance. I'm going to just change it one in two. Go ahead and click play. Now, if we go ahead and look on our inventory there's been a new one added however it does not have its custom aura so unheard of there we go we see it right there let's keep rolling there we go we just got our new one but however when we equip it it only has the basic white aura and we want our own custom one so to change this you're going to look up any type of particle so you could do fire particle if you wanted to or you could go ahead and make your own i'm just going to use these basic fire particles like this i'm going to insert it in here scroll back up to the top of workplace copy the part that you've just inserted and go ahead and paste it into your new rarity now when we join if we have the unheard of title equipped as you can see our brand new particle is on us now guys to go ahead and change the animation of your roblox avatar go to configuration animation whatever animation you want to change and click the one under it and then go ahead and change this id right here to whatever animation id you would like if this video gets 10,000 likes i will make a part two